Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this stylish and trendy mini twist bob hairstyle. So whether you're getting ready for a vacation or you just want to, you know, switch it up for a little bit and don't have to deal with your hair, this is the perfect style for that. I always missed this length when my locks got really, really long. So I wanted to try this style out again. You guys ask me all the time, do I miss my locks? And yes, I do, but I'm also really enjoying playing with my hair. First, you're going to need the African Pride leave-in conditioner or any conditioner that works for your hair. And I also use the Shine and Jam from my parting. This just helps you get clean parts. This is the type of hair that I use. It's Kenekalon hair and the Afro kinky texture in number four. I meant to use number two, but I mistakenly picked up number four, but I still liked it anyway. You wanna make sure that you part your hair in clean sections. I couldn't see the back, so the back is not that clean, but it's fine. And just make sure that your natural hair is really well moisturized before you do any protective style you want to make sure that your natural hair has a lot of moisture in it because if your natural hair is not moisturized during your protective style then it might be even more damaged once you take the protective style out so make sure you detangle and moisturize your natural hair just show it a lot of care and then i braided the root and I'm just showing you here two finished twists. So the back of my hair is pretty long, longer than how I wanted the bobs. So I'm gonna show you how I make my hair appear shorter in the back for like the back six or seven rows of my hair. And then towards the top, I used longer pieces of hair to get that bob effect. I use very short pieces of hair for the back, probably only about six inches or shorter and when bent in half it's only about four inches three or four inches and what you're going to do is use a crochet hook go through the base of the small braid that you did at your root close the hook and pull it through it's really hard to see here but i'm going to show you again when i do the top of my hair and you're going to pull that hair through and here you'll see the two pieces of the kenicolon hair and then my hair in the center and then all I do is just split my natural hair in two and I add it to the two pieces of the chemical on here. And the only reason why I used hair this time is because last time I did mini twist, my hair shrunk up so much and I was hoping that the chemical on hair would help it with the shrinkage and it did. But next time I do this style, I think I'm gonna make the bob a little bit longer to start because my hair did still shrink it didn't shrink as bad as it would have if i didn't add hair but it did still get shorter than this length and this is the length that i wanted so i didn't end up keeping this style for long because i wanted it to be a little bit longer than what it ended up being so when i get towards the end i just loop the extra hair around my finger and i'm just twisting it around i didn't have any problems with unraveling I only wore this style for about two weeks, a little bit under two weeks, and I didn't have any issues with my hair unraveling and it was really easy to take out. So this part is just me wrapping my natural hair around to make it appear a little bit shorter. You are gonna have a loop at the end of your hair, but it's really not visible once your entire hair is done. And you're just gonna continue that process all around your hair. And the power of YouTube. I have already completed the majority of my hair and I just have half of the front of my hair to go. This style took me about nine hours. It took a very long time, but it was worth it. I really loved how it came out. I'm just gonna show you the amount of hair that I use in the front, just to give you that bob effect. And here I'm just showing how the African Pride leave-in conditioner had my hair really moisturized and a little bit defined. I really loved how it made my hair feel. So if you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner, I definitely recommend checking that one out. It's really cool seeing my hair pattern, like my curl pattern now, because it was tucked away for five and a half years. So it's been fun seeing my natural texture again. I'm still gonna have to trim off a lot of hair so looking back if i ever get locks again i 
more than likely will not comb them out because the hair that is left after you comb out your locks a lot of the times is really uneven so it's best to just cut it off and start all over that's just my two cents um, you can kind of see how I'm using the crochet hook to go through the base of my braid then you want to make sure you close the hook pull it through and then that's how you get the hair added enjoy I hope you loved the tutorial. So as I mentioned before, I only kept these twists in for about 10, 10 days, 10 to 14 days, but I kept my parts and then I added in just regular long braids after I was tired with the short style. And this was really easy to do because my hair was already pre-parted. So if you are the, if you're like me and you like to change your hair a lot, then I definitely recommend pre-parting your hair because then you can kind of switch out the type of hair that you use, the lengths that you want without having to completely re start over and repart your hair. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what you want to see from me. I would really love your suggestions. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you at the next one. Bye.